More cuts being announced this weekend from Queen's Park, this time from the Ministry of Education. $25 million to be exact with the cancellation of 11 grants affecting school boards all across Ontario. Toronto School Board Chair Robin Pikeley says she was surprised Friday night to get an email that some grants are being cut. And she says there are still a lot of questions on how it will be rolled out as many programs are already in place and money has been spent. Well, it is a bit frustrating because people want to know. Right? Obviously, people are concerned. It affects students. $25 million is being slashed from the education program's budget of other funds for individual school boards. That means a reduction in a number of services, including tutors in classrooms, Indigenous-focused collaborations, and some physical activity grants, just to name a few. A program called Focus Youth is getting the axe, too. Underprivileged communities will feel that one the most. Uh, that is a program that helps students in underserved areas where there may not be other programming available. It's uh, run by, we hire students to, like high school students in those areas to run programs for other students, uh, like younger students. A statement from the Ministry of Education to City News reads, despite only accounting for less than 1% of school board funding, this fund has a long track record of wasteful spending, overspending, and millions of dollars of unfunded commitments. This mom and local volunteer says when it comes to students, any cut to funding is not a good idea. These grants are actually needed now, so even being on hold is an issue. Uh, something like the Parents Reaching Out grant mm -hmm. and some of the other grants are needed by schools whose school councils don't have the ability to raise a large amount of funds. So these parent engagement funds um, and particularly also the Indigenous mm -hmm. programming is going to have a real impact again on our marginalized students. Over the coming weeks, school boards will be working with the province to see what programs will be cut, as well as how many students will be affected, and if anything else can be done to compensate in different areas. And the Ford government insists that it's trying to ensure that tax dollars invested in education are being better managed so it has the greatest impact on students.